Well, if you are spending a lot of time trying to navigate your way around high gasoline prices, some ways uh, to save could end up costing you more in the long run. All right, Consumer Reporter Steve Noviello is live this morning to explain to make sure we're not doing it wrong. <laughs> hey, Good Steve. morning to you both. You know, when you look at the 48% spike in gas prices, it is no wonder that we're all trying to get creative when it comes to figuring out ways to save money at the gas pump. But a new analysis by the folks at Bankrate took a look at those uh, co-branded gas station credit cards. What they found is that among 20 of them that offered an average discount of about five or 10 cents a gallon, which is great at the pump. The problem was in the five and print. The interest rate on these things almost 26%, which is far greater than the national average APR of about 16.3%, meaning it is very unlikely you would ever come out ahead if you were to ever carry a balance and actually have to pay any of those interest fees. But if you pay them off right away, that would be different. Are there credit cards that do offer a good deal on gasoline? So those general purpose credit cards did very well in the study. Again, you want to make sure that you're not paying up front for the privilege of being rewarded. So a lot of these cards that have these high annual fees so that you can then get rewarded are probably not the best idea for you. The nice thing is that there are so many of them these days out on the market that you really can avoid them pretty easily. So cards from City, from Sam's Club, from Discover all scored very well in this study. They're offering cash back on either gas or a rotating category of purchases. So if you're the type who maybe you spend a lot at the grocery store or you spend a lot going out to eat, you can assign different categories to get cash back in and because the cards offer rewards on a percentage of your purchases they become more meaningful than a per gallon discount at the pump okay what if i just want to pay cash yeah right like you know cash is king still yeah. believe it or not and that's actually where you're going to find some of the biggest uh, savings you know you want something that's going to reward you regardless of how you pay cash, of course, you become rewarded uh, by not having to worry about the interest charges. A lot of these gas station apps will now also reward you for paying gas. Shell, for example, is offering folks 10 cents off per gallon if you pay with your checking account, because at the end of the day, it's cheaper for them to process a transaction that doesn't involve merchant services or a credit card arrangement, so they can pass that savings along to you. I do want to talk real quick about those kind of best price finding apps. I know they are very popular and often very handy. We took a few uh, around town for a test drive. The problem in this particular market is it's so volatile and prices change so frequently that many times we found by the time we got to the gas station to take advantage of the yeah. price we saw on the app, it had already changed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, quick, really quick question. We're out of time. When you said you, if you pay with your checking account, I mean, you're not talking about writing a check. You're talking about debit card, I hope. So you're talking about linking through the app uh, your okay. checking account. So it's really some sort of a kind of uh, a direct direct relationship between your uh, your uh, membership on the app okay. and then also uh, paying in the store. Okay. Yep. All right. Very good. Now I understand. Thank you.